All right, what is up, YouTube? Got another stream today. I actually have some kind of sweet hey, news. Oh, geez. I'm going to uh, SCG Philly. Didn't kind of a last minute thing. So I'm pretty excited to uh, <clears throat> to throw in, uh, to uh, kind of get back at it seriously, which I'm pumped at. So we're going to probably play a little bit more serious magic tonight and try to be paying attention to making the, the plays. Um, here's the list. Not quite sold on my mana base yet. Um, I recently cut a Scalding Tarn for a second Blood Crypt, but I'm not exactly sure that I want to do that. So we'll have to play with it some more. I might just want to play uh, six lands instead of seven. I'm not exactly sure. Um, recently cut a Serum Visions for a Thought Scour. Keep the consistency, but also make it so that I've got um, can pull off the turn two anglers better. Besides that, it's all pretty straightforward. So we're gonna jump in it, get some leagues going here. I'm gonna jam out two leagues tonight. I don't know how long my wife's gonna be out, but I'd like to at least get two leagues in. <clears throat> nope, competitive modern league. Yeah, I watched Canister already get a trophy. He was playing, uh, he was playing like the the Death Shadow Zoo deck, like the, the basically the one that had Probe in it before Probe got banned, which was pretty cool. match here. All right, I would like to play first. And this hand's okay. Hopefully we're playing against a creature deck. I'm probably going to cycle this on one to look for a discard spell or some kind of action. Put them all against a six, and they keep. My opponent gives me something to point these removal spells at. We're in pretty good shape. Though we could be in trouble. All right, we're going to get something to point this at. I think we're just going to go... I can get black-red. Or I can get, like, red-blue. I can get red-blue, bolt this, and then have a swamp up, which I think I like better. This could mess with my hand a little bit, but... lets me have all my colors, because, you know, we easily could need all of them. All right, that's nice. That lets us get... The angler in the play on two, which is pretty big. <clears throat> so drawing Eidolon, which is good to know. This is a good hand against Eidolon. Like having Gourmet Angler down before Eidolon gets into play is pretty big. It's going to put just your leaning on your opponent. All right, we'll do Thought Scour. Take a list of my deck. Show my deck, but I will not. So they just got it tapped. That's odd. That's odd. I think I'm just going to push this and attack. I don't think we're in the market for any real mess around. My opponent must have. They suspended a Rift Bolt. Okay, that's what they did. That's what they did. That goes upstairs. So now that this Eidolon is in play, I can't kill my opponent in two. So I think I'm just going to attack. This 
It's pretty crazy if they take this. Okay. All right. That likely means they can be put into a position where they have to block next turn. So I could just pay four life, go to seven. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because there's no card that just kills me outright from seven. And I'd like to put my opponent on a two-turn clock. If I draw a land, I can snap bolt them. <clears throat> All right, so this is Lightning Helix. Okay. It's a pretty good draw. Likely puts my opponent on only a few outs. Lava Spike, Lava Spike, Boros Charm. So my opponent's got no outs, right? Because of the Stubborn Denial. So I'll just take the card that, just whatever card costs the least. Yeah. Hey, Ann Robinson. Uh, we've gone for BNR, been able to push fetch. We've gone for BR, being able to push fetch, tap next turn, conserve life total against burn. For angler, also draw this card. I guess I missed exactly when, because I was like, I have something else up on my computer. I missed exactly when you uh, messaged that, so I wasn't super close. How are you doing today, sir? So we got Nasty on two, which is what we like. So we're going to take out four cards here. Bring in these, these two, these two, and a Stubborn Denial. I actually wrote up a sideboard guide and, and an article for this deck. And wrote, and and what? Can I use Robinson? N.W. Arbison? Robinson? I don't know how you like to be spoken to, sir. But um, okay, um, we're gonna keep this hand. It could be a little slow, but we have a Death Shadow, and we can like work work our hand, our opponent Mulligan. So. Robinson's fine. First two of my initials. Oh, first name's Nathan. That makes sense. Nathan Robinson. Yeah, I finished up my project that I was working on with this Death Shadow deck. So that's nice. No pressure from our opponent. That's also Dece. So do we want to play slow? And I think... I don't think we want to play, like, fetch basic here slow. What I want to do is I want to find a removal spell to be able to deal with an idol on. That's what we're looking for here, and we found one. <clears throat> oh, nothing. Okay. So what do I want to do here? Probably just want to go island. Serum bridges. I'm probably gonna get burned here at the end of the turn. We're going to want the Thought Seize for sure. And I'm just going to fire this off. So we should be able to get Death Shadow down and have Stubborn Denial up. Next turn, which is going to be a pretty big game. Oh, they just don't have anything. So I'm actually going to take a lightning bolt here. If my opponent continues to play slow, then I'm just going to like snap thought seize them. 
Yeah, they're just going to play slow. They drew path. So we're probably just going to snap uh, snap thought sees them on their main phase, just kind of punish them for taking a slower game. Because theoretically here, we take seven, go to six, go to four. Take the thought sees. I assume we untap, we play two dash shadows, and then we just kill our opponent. Because my opponent would have to top deck exactly Boros Charm in order to get me here. Yep, yeah, so they fire the burn off. <clears throat> Take the path. Now we just lose to Boros Charm. Besides that. We get to play two shadows and have um, stubborn denial going on. <clears throat> so we should be in good shape now. Okay, that resolves. Then we're just going to bolt it and. Get in there. So yeah, my opponent's got no outs because we know one of these cards. So they must have drawn the Swift Spear and then not played it. For some reason, I don't know. I do not know. He's back to the regular shenanigans, yes. What was the reason to holding? Always fun. What was the reason to, uh, to hold a bobble on the first turn? <clears throat> I'd have to look at it. I'm not sure. I could have just like not been paying attention, but I do like to leave Bobble in my hand, like similar to Street Wraith, so that you can work with it with a Serum Visions. Yeah, we're back, Rafi. I traded your Snapcaster Mages, by the way. Just got rid of them. I enjoy playing against Burn with Death Shadow. Usually pretty fun games. I think I'll take that trade, Rafi. Might be close. Heater. <laughs> Rafi, you don't have Philly Boy. He's right here. Heater. Don't want that. <clears throat> Horizon Canopy. He's playing as humans. Hardened Scales. All right. Well, we're going to fire that off. I would assume this is not a good matchup. Ancient Stirrings on top. This card's too good. Especially considering they already have... They got a Welding Jar to play, too. <clears throat> so probably just take... Take the hanger back walker or the arc bound worker. Yeah, I'll take the hanger back walker. <clears throat> Lista might be annoying as well, but hopefully we can bolt that before we end up playing a big ugly. 
I'm talking about you, Raffy. You big ugly. Okay, so they did hit a land. They cast their Ancient Stirrings. Played their Arcbound Worker. Okay, so this is going to get Blood Crypts. <clears throat> and we are going to looting for something good, hopefully. What am I a discard spell to deal with that walking blister? If I find a removal spell, I might actually use it on the Arcbound Worker in response to the Walking Blister. That's not good. That is not good at all. So we're going to get rid of this and this. Yeah, we're definitely in some trouble now. Mox Opal, okay. So let's then go Ballista for three. <clears throat> so I might as well just stub this. It saves a counter on the Ballista. Our Stubborn Denial is not doing anything else. Pay for it. All this does is trade a card for a counter on the ballista. Oh, they're going to hold the ballista? No way. Nice. So I can go snap Thoughtseize, which I think is the plan, and then look to trade with this in combat, and then nab this, which will trade with the welding jar. But I do just want to get this get this walking ballista. So I guess our, our like stubborn denial gamble kind of paid off. Like it was it's not like it was a really good play or anything, but they just decided to wait a turn in order to get the ballista larger. So they got punished for. So now we're like a death shadow away from winning. That's a really good top deck. And another walking ballista. I bet you they play it this time, yeah. So we probably shoot this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna block this thing. Well, problem is if I block this, it gets moved over here for free. Yeah, I think I gotta, I gotta take this one time. I basically need to find Death Shadow on like the top of my deck here. Uh, that's not quite it. So probably just bolt this thing. And then chump lock and then snap bolt again. It's probably the game plan. Uh, I should have done that in the upkeep for that exact reason. So we can do this. It takes this out of combat. Oh, I just put a counter on it. Okay. Yeah, I just put like a million. Yeah. I mean, I played this poorly right here, but things didn't quite line up. What I should have done is I should have just done it on my main phase to trade for this welding jar because that's ultimately like the best that I can do out of it. And I can sit here and hope that um, then I can hope that I hit something, I guess. 
in order to uh, in order to like keep me alive. That below, that thing just growing as fast as it did is just not good for the home team. So I think we want this. We want to keep our graveyard stock. Dermat Angler doesn't seem like it's that great. These stubs don't seem great. I don't really know a lot about this deck. So I guess it plays like Nyssa, and we can stub a whatever it is on the play. So maybe it's worth keeping some in. Keeping in a Mopey Miser's one doesn't feel that great. I could play Last Hope, but Last Hope also doesn't seem great. Last Hope can clean up Hangerback Walker, which is, which is at least something. So we're going to try this. Basically, we just gonna get Death Shadow on the battlefield early, and they're not gonna be able to handle it. This is like one of those. This is one of those decks that just struggles a lot. If you can get a Death Shadow in play, because it just doesn't kill it efficiently. But if you don't get one in play, you flounder and die, which is exactly what happened. I could bring in Ceremonies Rejection. I don't really know what I would cut. Ceremonies Rejection is probably better than Old Liliana. Hopefully I made it. Hopefully we got it in there. Did we get it? Yep, we got the one. I would like to play first. Uh, so it's a very threat dense hand. It's not very disruptive. I think I'm going to keep this. That like we can scry on one into some interaction, hopefully. We can get it. There's, there's a lot of ways this hand like ends in a turn two threat for us. So. I think that's pretty important. We're gonna do this on my main phase. So if I draw a uh, whatever it is, I'm gonna get a watery grave. So that if I draw a thought scour on my turn, on this turn, I can use it. All right, lava mancer is not bad. Kind of fights with my angler, but and my snapcaster. But that's that is the world we're living in. We did up the we up the thought scour one more for situations like this. Okay. So maybe the steam vents. And I think I'm just going to run out the Angler and the Death Shadow. No, I might as well leave. Leave my Thought Scour in play. So I don't, I don't know how likely this deck is to be able to put a counter on this before they can activate their... Uh, before they get to 4 mana. But if they do put a counter on it, they trade with the Death Shadow, and then our Gurmag Angler is like riding, is roaming free. Though I guess they could just play another Ballista and trade with it. Yeah, likely wasn't great actually. I'm gonna Serum Visions into like Snap Serum Visions on my turn. Arcbound worker. 
So that's a way to move over to your to your walking ballista. This could be rough. This could get rough here. <clears throat> They're probably debating whether they can play something like an Arcbound Ravager here. What is what fetch? Hanger back walker. Okay. So let's see what they have. We might have to like snap thoughtsies. Okay, so yeah, I think we're just gonna snap thoughtsies again. Let's take this Ravager. Then just put the pressure on. They probably chump the angler. Okay, then we snap thoughtsies again. Or snap inquisition, excuse me. You're talking about what our opponent's playing? It's it's like a it's just a hardened scales deck. Like Matt Nass streams this deck from time to time. Walking Melissa could put a hurting on me. Because if I don't block it, I go to six, and then I'm just dead on their attack. So I actually have to chump block this Ballista. Yeah, I'm going to chump the Ballista if my, if my opponent attacks. But then if they just attack here, then I've got, this becomes, all right. Whoa. So that's an aggressive attack. I do believe my opponent has to make some sort of attack here, unless they hope that they can just trade in combat with the shadow. Yeah, Battle Rage would be pretty sick. Why isn't it? Yeah, for sure. We get two looks at it. I would take just a removal spell for this walking bus then. I guess with that, those Blink Moth Nexus, my opponent's got one, two, three, four, six. They're one point short next turn of killing me. So I do think they have to attack with a Thopter. Like I would attack, I would get in with a Thopter if I was my opponent. Because then that makes me leave a creature back. To block the walking ballista. Yeah. That's the right, that's the right attack, I think. And we're just gonna cast, we're gonna hurry up and cast our cantrip. Welding jar, okay. Ooh. What does that do? All right, well, let's cast this first. Put on the bottom, put on top. I'm just going to attack with this Death Shadow. And hold back and hit here. And then get aggressive with my uh, with my removal. Um, <clears throat> depending on what my opponent's attack is. 
That welding jar was a pretty good draw. Tough game, tight game. So I get to take something out of combat here if my opponent um, if my opponent goes for it. Though I don't actually know how this rule is. So like if they go to activate this ballista and I bolt it and they regenerate it, does it still get the counters? This actually matters because if they activate this ballista and I bolt this, Um, okay, so then I actually have to bolt one of these thopters. But I'm still dead because, well, no, this takes that out of combat. Okay. So basically I'm going to one, but I'm drawing a dead card. So maybe it wasn't right. Maybe I, I probably misinterpreted how close to dying I was and shouldn't have kept that fatal push. So if I attack with both, my opponent has to animate something to, to get this. Um, get this blist off the field. The problem is if I just attack with one creature then my opponent just takes the damage and um, I then just die next turn to the board. Like they just animate and then they don't necessarily kill me but if I need to attack with both of my creatures so my opponent um, God I need to attack both my creatures so that my opponent animates Blink Mod Nexus. I then push the Nexus. They animate another Nexus. They block. Then I'm still dead. So I actually just need to attack with my Death Shadow, hope my opponent goes for it, and then hope they block, let the thing die, push here, and then um, just let the creature die. Then push. Jesus. Yeah, I don't really have an out here. I just have to attack with a death shadow and then be able to block on the ground and hope something my opponent blocks in a weird way. My line is to hope that my opponent animates one of these and blocks, right? Yeah, I gotta hope that my opponent, cause like, I'm just dead to no to anything here. It doesn't really matter what it is. I need my opponent to block. Okay. 
Okay. So they crack this. The ballista comes back. And now we hope my opponent plays around a removal spell here. Yeah, I think I was dead. If my opponent played correctly, I was dead no matter what. All right, we'll scoop it up. Well, I, I was I was dead either way, right, uh, Robinson? Because if I attack with both of my creatures, I get in there and put them to one. They block. They just block with the angler or with the um, whatever it is. The they block with the the uh, ballista. Because what I was hoping they were going to do was, I was hoping they were going to animate a land. And block with a land. Because then I could survive another turn. I could survive one more turn because they'd be down a land. That's what I was hoping. This guy's a mid-range player. I'm going to keep this. We're not going to mulligan against the mid-range deck. Yeah, my, my whole plan was I hope they I hope they animate a creature, blah, attack, animate a creature land, attack, lose the land, can't pump ballista was my was the only way I think I win that game. This kind of sucks. So we're going to lead off with this. If you double blocks, you survive. Oh, we're playing against blue-white control, it looks like here. Should have fetched. But at least we're going to get Death Shadow in the play. So I'm just going to take um, Supreme Verdict. And then I'm going to Fetch Shot, get Death Shadow in the play. Next turn. Um, next turn, we're going to then Snap Thoughtseize and crack my opponent for, for a bunch. I guess pressure him to make that misplay instead of leaving him with an easy block. Yeah, the only thing that I... Oh, man. Yes. So I know my opponent's hand, so there's no sense in Snapcast or Thought Seizing right now. I think I'm just going to flashback looting. Jesus Christ. So this has, we got a watery grave and a blood crypt left in my deck. So I should go like this. That was a tough looting. All right, we don't want either of these. So maybe I'll strip my red sources also, which is worth noting. This fixes out of my opponent's hand. I put that on the bottom. Okay, well now I can at least play Gurmag Angler. Which is, you know, something. 
I'm going to leave the steam vents in my hand until they either pop this field of ruin or I need to use it. Good. We have a Wrath of God too, Jesus. All right, we're gonna take the settle because it lets us at least get in. I guess I could have taken the, no, that was so stupid. I should have taken the Wrath of God because I could at least sit here and wait for another discard spell. Yeah, that was dumb. That was very dumb. I was more of just like saw that Wrath of God and I was frustrated, but I should have definitely taken the Wrath of God because I could at least play around the settle. while dying a very slow death, but... I really needed something out of the back end of that Faithless Looting. Yeah. <coughs> Put on the bottom... Put on the bottom. I'm actually going to shock myself. Go to two. Pass the turn. Got to hold up a land to be able to deal with this colonnade. Opponent doesn't go for it. So many of our draws are now shut off, but it is what it is. Come on. Can't cast that one. Huh. <sighs> I can hit my red source. They might not even do it, to be honest. No, they're going to. Well, we're going to hit it because then we can't cast it for the rest of the game. All right, well, we got a plan, and it entails flashing in this, because we don't have one, two, three. I should have played that land, because I could have gotten a watered grave. Yeah, I've got one more creature left. <clears throat> we find like a stubborn denial and a death shadow. This is this game could be could be one, but my opponent goes to do anything. Okay, they're in a pretty precarious spot. Also, like it does it doesn't take a lot. Like they're, they're, they got three cards, I guess now. So. There, it's not like they're really in any danger. Let's go get our last land. Oh yeah, it wasn't, but it was the red source. Okay. Switch between decks often enough, where I first forget. Um. Gotta hope. 
All right, we have a 12-12. And like maybe they don't have anything. Yeah, I mean that was wishful thinking. But I mean all we can do is just run our resources out here. I I, I want to cast this Snapcaster Mage so bad. Good cards that just came off the top. I guess we can like use this Snapcaster Mage to flash back a lightning bolt now, bolt my opponent. What are they doing with this? They're going to put the card on the bottom. I probably should have. I think I should have flashed this Snapcaster Mage in like three or four turns ago. So inside of combat. Negates and that cooks us. Yep, that sucks. They hit. They hit that um, on turn two. They hit that path to exile, and that's that's just really what got us because we had the threat there. We had like the disruption behind it, and they're on a mulligan to five. But we after that we just couldn't couldn't finish it out. So I want my K commands, my E's, last hope. Stubborn Denial, cut my Dismembers, cut Battle Rage, cut Lightning Bolt, and one Street Wraith. And then bring these in, and we are good. I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. I appreciate you all for hanging out here. I believe so. Um, I believe the deck has moved to a more aggressive rely on a turn two, um, a turn two creature. So you have to make sure your graveyard's filled up for Gurmag Angler. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tough magic. Take, tough matchup. Take Mulligans in. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, I mean. Just gonna fire this off now to just start churning through my deck. The drawing path, which is gas. Yeah, I think the days of sit on your heels, death shadow are just over. People understand how to play against the deck now. Um, they understand what it does. Just much easier to disrupt than it was. Jeez. This is a tough draw against a tough matchup. So I guess it's good to kind of get him out here. So I'm going to opt. This seems like an odd card unless they're playing the Miracles. But then wouldn't you want to save it? So my first creature is going to die, which sucks. Yeah, people just figured out how to play against Death Shadow. Yeah, no problem there. What, the only... The only Casella? Sometimes it's hard to read Twitch names. All right. So I'm just going to play Death Shadow. My opponent tries the path, I can stub it. I doubt they will, but if they do, I can answer it. I don't want to just tap out for Gurmag Angler, get rid of my entire graveyard, to just have it down, just have it up. Path. Yeah, we just got to trade. We're 
we're in an unfortunate. We're in a we're in a tough spot. We're in a tough spot the moment this sat down. Like this is this right here is the is the true like really bad matchup. Jeez. Into the rest in peace. To add insult onto injury. If we draw all of our lands, we can cast Ermag Angler. So like you know, that's kind of exciting. But like if we would have sequenced that, yeah, we're just we're good. We're good. We're not gonna we're not gonna waste our time anymore. If we would have sequenced that indifferently so that our angler gets down, then then we were getting pathed anyways. Rough league so far. Hopefully we can finish out cash it, then run it back. That that you know the control deck's probably probably the worst deck, worst matchup in the format for this deck. But you just want to play against you just want to play against everything except control, especially that one. I'd rather I'd play against Jessica. Hey Ray, how's it doing? How's it going? My wife and I we are interested in that restaurant. I keep tagging her in some pictures. So as soon as we get a minute here, we plan on we plan on. Going down there and tearing it up. Eating that place out of tacos. I'll have to warn you before I show up. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. This is a uh, this is turn too nasty. I'm going to fetch before I cycle my Street Wraith. Oh, jeez, Ray. What a guy. I'm going to go see what my wife's doing right now. No. She's uh, she's out with her family. I'm, I'm in here because Philly is not feeling good, unfortunately. I'm going to get the information of the Street Wraith. I'll have to give it a... I like margaritas a lot. My wife's not the biggest Marg person. But I am all about it. So what are we doing here? I likely don't need both of my removal spells. So we're just going to go like this and we're going to ditch a land. I'm likely to find another land. And I would like to be able to delve my Gurmag Angler next turn. So I'm going to have four. I'm going to have eight cards in my graveyard. What is this? What is this flooded strand bullshit? Yeah. So I really don't want to just get this Gurmag Angler passed. But it looks like that's what's going to happen. I'm going to save this Faithless Looting to hit with the other Faithless Looting. But to ditch back, because it's just it's a little too much card disadvantage to run into two of these. And if I get this Gurmag, if I get this Gurmag Angler does get passed, then we gained a little bit of value by um by ditching our land. Oh, shoot. Okay, so playing against Jess Guy. So it's a little dangerous going down as low in life as we did. We'll probably take it easy in the future. There's a blue red deck. I have to be on my toes here. Lightning Bolt's a good draw. I'd love a counter spell. That is really what we're looking for now. Playing a storm, maybe? Or is it just like the blue moon deck? I could have lootinged, but I, I, I should have lootinged. I wasn't paying attention. I'm very tempted to just 
play a Snapcaster Mage. So it's a two-turn clock, yeah. Especially considering I messed up and didn't looting on my turn. And we're just going to get this thing in here. If they were manned the Snapcaster Mage, then they were manned it. All right, we get the two-for-one here, which is okay. It does kind of suck that our Gurmag Angler is gone, but, like, such is life. So this is interesting. We can play the Snapcaster Bolt plan, which I kind of like. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to Snap Bolt them at the end of their turn. And then attack, put them to 9, attack them to 5, and then have, like a, have quite a few draws to kill them. Hang on one second. Just had my teammate confirm for SCG Philly, which I'm excited for. I think they're going to end up playing Legacy. So let's flash this in. I think the worst thing that happens this is it gets remanded. And if they remand this, then I'm just going to bolt them. They might just go and try to remand the Lightning Bolt for Worcester. Dude, get some Death Shadow going on, man. All right, which, which format are you playing? <laughs> Legacy? Well, Sneak and Show's probably pretty good, right? All right, that's okay. We'll probably end up just pushing this Snapcaster Mage and keeping keeping the pressure on with our Snap. So let's start by Faithless Looting now, I think. That's tough. We're gonna leave this land in our hand in order to have better to better flash back the looting with the looting. This could be a Jace, not a thing. Okay, that's not good. But first day I contest on GGO and I'm stuck late at work. That sucks. Stinky Show Reanimator or my pet deck is Stoneblade. Well, Stoneblade's probably better, right, than it was. It went bottom, bottom. So we're going to start by attacking. Because my opponent blocks, we're just going to bolt this um, thing in the ice. Oh, shoot. I might as well. I should have done this before combat because I could have hit a Snapcaster Mage or another push. And I guess we fire this off. My opponent's hand stacked. Stoneblade is better than it was, but it so it's not so it's not as well positioned against the field as Grixis Delver was. I would agree. So they're bolting my Snapcaster. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take this Jace. Bolt this thing. And then it's like Cryptic Command versus my Faithless Lootings, and they get the first draw step. I'm probably, I'm, I think I'm in trouble here. Because they have my first meaningful play covered. But I do get to do some serious filtering here. We're going to get Battle Rage out of here. And this is just like the bane of all control decks. But we we we've gone into into deep water here. So that fetches me a basic 
swamp if I draw a discard spell or like a, a creature. This cryptic's gone. Okay. I guess now I can I should I should have played a land tapped. Thing is bad. I need a death shadow and I need a death shadow quick. The old cryptic chain is tough to beat. No, two cards on the bottom, at least. I mean, we can't take it home with us. Jeez. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Yeah, we've been getting work tonight. We've been just getting worked over. All right, we want this. Spell bomb. I like spell bomb against the death, against uh, the graveyard decks. Or against Snapcaster decks. Um, and then it gets like a blue-red burn kind of deck. So they're just a control deck with blood moons. I probably want my engineer explosives. I'd like to cut my lightning bolts. I want to keep my fatal pushes in for things, dismembers in for things. And then I can shave on these, cut my cut my battle rages, probably keep in like one lightning bolt and then two Kologon's commands. Yeah, we'll go like this. Like the last hope is probably decent, but they're going to have a lot of counter magic. And the last hope is really good when it hits the battlefield. And, like, you can tick up and kill something. It's not super great strictly to minus to bring creatures back when they're going to put pressure on us. I think if I was keeping my street rates in, I would much more be much more likely to think about it. But last hope is probably better than the lightning bolt. So let's not not figure that out in time. Would like to play first. It's a very good hand. I think we're gonna fetch basic swamp off of this. We're gonna sniff, we're gonna try to like play around the blood moon a little bit. Stoneblade is better. So you're saying like Stoneblade was inherently pretty good against the Grixis Delver decks? But it wasn't great against the rest of the field. That's some action. We're gonna take. We're just gonna take the creatures, though. Polluted Delta. We're gonna hope that our stubborn denials can deal can trade with the cryptic commands. They went two cards on top. Okay. So we draw a land next turn. Lava man, that's interesting. So I know there are four cards. I'm just gonna leave this untapped. Okay, nice. That was actually pretty good because it allows me to, um, or do I want to just K command this right now? I think I'm going to K command because I don't want to like have them top deck a bolt and go bolt kill my, yeah, let's just go like this. That allows me to play Gurmag Angler with Stubborn Denial up next turn. If I draw another land that I can leave like a thought season in my graveyard for my Snapcaster Mage. Snap Serum Visions. Okay.
that's all right. Like I said, we're going to be able to have um, Angler up with, okay, that's not even a bad draw. So let's, one, two, three, four. I can leave Thoughtseize and Colorgon's Command if I put this into play tapped. One, two, three, four, five. No, I want this untapped so that I can go like this. And then delve two. So what they do that? They went one and one. Let's see what they're drawing. Because they're likely going to bait my stub here. So they are drawing, hopefully, something not that great. Serum Visions. I think I'm going to go, because I can't go stub, snap, stub. I think we're actually going to go Snapcaster Mage, Thought Seize. Thought Seize my opponent. And then. Uh, Stub this cryptic command that's likely going to happen. Oh, they're drawing us serum visions. I shouldn't have got rid of that. They're drawing serum visions. So then we're drawing a car with a bobble. Should be, well, we drew bobbled into bobble. Which is always great. Surprised my opponent did not um, counter the Snapcaster Mage. All right, Relic's not bad. I tend to think they probably don't have things in their deck if they didn't just cycle there to hit a thing. That could be another reason. I think we're just going to serve in here with both, put the pressure on. The trade snaps. Then we're definitely just firing this off on my turn because I want to. Oh, that's really bad. I guess that's not that bad. Because we're going to attack. They're going to go cryptic, bounce the angler. And we can. Um, We can then like hit the car they go here. Morning, Johnny, or evening, Johnny. That's okay. So let's take a look. Lighthouse is pretty good. So one, two, three. Yeah, that lighthouse is gonna gonna do some serious work, as lighthouse tends to do. Get another red source. <clears throat> Jeez. All right, well, I'm going to get clicked. Is that what's happening here? If my opponent clicks me, I'm going to, all right, well, I'm not going to, we're just going to play this. Hopefully, they didn't find an answer to it. They're likely going to activate Loot House here and look for, like, a remand. One time. One time. Come on, yeah. I'm not going to crack that fetch line and go to three anyways. Um, they had, uh, they had things, Ben. They had main deck things. So I kept in my two dismembers and my two fatal pushes. 
we did draw both of them, which is a little tough, but that's where we are. Grindy game. So we got like plenty of draws that are lethal. None of them are like bolt or snapcast or bolt. It's nice to my opponents. So like if they have another P and K in their in their uh, deck, wow, they ditched the bolt. That's good for the home team. Okay, so now we're just going to. Dismember this. Pay full retail. <clears throat> and now just hope that they can't deal with this angler. And we saw we saw clicks and P and K after sideboard. So I think I'm more likely to bring in my Liliana's. All right, Thought Scour is nice. Nice, we're just going to do this now. So it makes counterbalance worse. Yeah, we hit the stub right there. So we can still beat like a Flash and Snapcaster. Target Bolt. Because my three mana Doomblade was so good then. No. Okay. Looks like we're going to be both here just traded resources. Well, now, now we're at the, like, the mercy of the top of my deck, and I'm playing against this lighthouse, which is so bad. I'm not going to crack a fetch, because like I just die there. But... Now I'm in trouble. I need like I need my last K command or a Snapcaster. If I can draw a Snapcaster or a K command, that'd be great. I've got what do I have? I've got two more Snapcasters, one more K Command in my deck. And I think the I think I only have one Lightning Bolt. I boarded one out. Yes. How are you doing today, Ben? I used your list um, one of my streams a little while ago. There's a bunch of people asking me. What was going on? All right, that's a pretty good draw. There's a bunch of people that uh, wanted some information about it. Okay. Ditch both of these. And I think I'm going to just play the Gurmag Angler for one so I can leave up um, Dismember. I guess I can ditch the stubborn now because I'm just flashing back bolt if I draw light this guy. Hey, thanks there, M Blacko. I appreciate it. You watch most of them on YouTube? My opponent is complimenting how good Faithful Fluting is right there. Okay. Oh, you're sick? That sucks. So now I just... Looting. And hopefully I don't go, like, Snapcaster Cryptic Command. Two, three, four, five. This is just another card. Whoa. Okay. So we've got to kill this. 
We're dead to lightning bolt either way. So what do we do here? So they're targeting me. Targeting me. So if I let them do this, and I, I lose the lightning bolt. I guess what what what's the upside here? I'm dead to lightning bolt now either way. So how many lightning bolts have they used? They only used one. I'm likely dead, I think. Because they likely just take my Gurmag Angler. So, yeah. I'm dead to Lightning Bolt either way, right? One leaves me with a threat. I might as well give my opponent an option to give me a threat, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to just give my opponent a chance to give me a, give me a threat. I'm dead to Bolt either way. So they took it. So now I'm going to do it on the main phase here. That was a pretty nice timing there for my opponent. My opponent's played this game really well. I feel like. Yeah, so you usually catch them on YouTube there. Mm hmm So we're going to do this now. Because they can just click me whenever. They're drawing roast. So let's just get rid of this thing now. And we're going to hold the land. Or should I play it? It gives me more cards to draw. I'm going to have two cards anyways next turn when I go to cast my Faithless Looting. So I think I want to go Looting into um, into Red Spell being an option. Yeah, I feel like my opponent's played has played this game very well. So we know they have a Roast. Okay. So you got one card. All right. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've been I feel like I've been outplayed so far. Like you have some of those matches where like you're like each player played well, you know. The games were close. I don't necessarily feel like that's the way this has been. So I thought it was a lot of X1s. I didn't see any things. So I think I can sideboard my things out, my dismembers out, and bring these in. I still have good answers. I have a couple answers to things. This is going to help with uh, P and K and LR. Alternatively, I could leave like a lightning bolt in, leave one of these in. I kind of don't mind making my deck less clunky. Like my like spot removal is going to be a little better after sideboard. Maybe I can cut the Liliana. Keep one dismember in. Yeah, I, what I was worried about also that we saw, like, I, I kind of want to respect, um, I kind of want to respect Thing in the Ice, you know? And that's why I like the push. So, like, to kill Thing in the Ice... I've got four cards that just do it. Five cards that do it. To kill, call it to go, um, whatever it is, to kill the other card, I've got another five cards that kill, um, kill click all the time. 
Yeah. Yeah, which which makes me want to because I feel like um I feel like overall I have a higher like threat density and I have a higher like consistency with my deck. So I think I want to just keep my removal in and I think that the looting Yeah, if we can stick last up, I think it's great. I think looting is gonna help a lot in this matchup. I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand's very good. We could get mooned, but like you know, we're just gonna get mooned. Well, now we can play around moon, and we're gonna be able to do enough damage to ourselves to get our death shadows in play. I don't think I want. I don't really think I want this. I think we've got like. Though I might want to discard, I might want to snap it back to find velocity because I've already got, um, I already have like enough going on. But if I want to, if my plan is to snap this back, then I'm not playing around. Then I'm not playing around Blood Moon. Yeah, I think we're just gonna pitch it. Like our, our turns, I think our turns are gonna be pretty sculpted out in the early go. We don't have time for this serum visions. Okay, so we're just going to take this roast, and then hit, um, hit the mom and pop next turn. Then hopefully we also get to hit like an action spell that they have. All right, spell bomb's not bad. It's not great, but can harass a Snapcaster Mage. Alright, well let's just not show them that we have another land yet. So they might they because you might just remand this. So I wonder if he doesn't have Blood Moon in his deck. Yeah, I think I think something that I might make a mistake doing is I just board I overboard Nihil's Spellbomb, where it's just like a redraw sometimes. I don't think I think we're good. I I I didn't see a Blood Moon the entire last game. We went so deep into the game that they might have sideboarded them out. And he had to make room for some of his cards. So I don't mind here just going like like snap inquis or like snap thoughtsies. Or I could just wait. Cause like I don't mind just running the snapcaster out here because he likely kills it and then I can return it. But then he, my opponent could like jace me. So I probably should just play it tight. Mm -hmm. I do think I'm gonna now I'm kind of like handcuffed a little bit. I think I'm gonna cycle it because I'd like to find a little more action. Because next turn I'm going to, next turn I think I'm definitely going to snap Thoughtseize. So I would like to be able to, uh, I'm going to snap Thoughtseize no matter what next turn. And I don't want to have to crack this and not get a card out of it. So we get rid of Roast, which is a good card to snap back for our opponent. Okay, that's another good one. So now I can go like, Thought sees into serum visions. It's a tough. It's a tough. Like I definitely feel like I'm being outplayed. I feel like I'm being leaned on here. 
this doesn't necessarily, I, you know, I don't feel comfortable with how this game is going. Okay. It's a tough draw. I think now we're just going to run this out. Especially considering we have Colagon's command. Like, it's very tiny, but... I guess I'm not getting outplayed at all. My opponent's just like... I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. I don't know if that's my doing, or... Alright, my opponent just scooped it up. Which is a rough draw for them, but... Yeah, that's fair. I think I, I definitely have been, I've definitely been like, I've definitely been someone that's sideboarded in, you know, head cards that I like that I play in my sideboard that sometimes I overboard. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. I wish I had a discard spell, but besides that, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're climbing up the modern viewings here. Climbing up magic. Commune with nature. Birds of paradise. What is going on? Well, now I'm just going to push this bird... Then I'm gonna thought scour into nasty germasty. What is my opponent doing? Now that they have two, I don't even really want to push the bird. I guess I'll cycle this. Yeah, I guess now I can deal with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Delve. That's gas. Right? My math, right? Yeah, I'm putting two cards in the graveyard. And then we're getting nasty. That was good. That was decent. You think it's Druid combo? You think it's just a weird Druid combo deck? If it is, I feel stupid blowing both of my... Yeah, you're right. Don't path my angler. Okay. Alright, Battle Rage is pretty good. I think I'm going to fetch an island and Serum Visions. If I put a removal spell on top, I can Thought Scour into it by like milling my opponent. So I'm kind of in the market for this Stubborn Denial. So I'll put this on the bottom. I'm going to put this on top. Draw the card next turn with... Okay, so there's the Devoted Druid. I'm going to have infinite mana next turn. That's why I, I like I like having Seer Visions in this deck in some numbers, just because um, it it's going to whatever it does. It um that's bold. So now I don't even think I do anything because. My opponent has to now block with this Devoted Druid, or they're dead. And I don't want to lose out to like a main deck Path to Exile. Alright, so now we're gonna... Now we gotta make something happen here. Just drew a land, okay. So my opponent still might not block, because they lose their combo if they do that. So we're just going to attack first. I can snap Stubborn Denial 
yeah, I mean, I don't really blame my opponent for not attack, not, you know, going all in there or not blocking, but we definitely put them in a position where we could break up what they were doing. Ooh, thought scouring them would have been a good idea. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yep. That would have been good. I was worried about like a collected company or a main deck path to exile. But that was, so I don't know which is better there. I would assume they do. I was just worried about like a collected company. What's going on here? My mouse is like dying. I was worried about a collected company or a path to exile. That's why I held the stubborn denial. All right, I need to go get my wife's mouse. Is this one dying? Bubble Scour is basically Lantern. Yeah, I was. I guess I was just. I'm frustrated with myself that I didn't think about that, and that's that's what. Watch out, chat. We're going for a ride. I'm frustrated with myself that I didn't think of that line, but because um, but I don't know if it's right to do to, or to just hold up stubborn denial and make them have you know the pieces they need. Okay, so back to Cyborg. We want E. We want Colagon's Command, Lava Mancer, A Braid, Last Hope. Um, Battle Rage is good. I tend to like to board out just Street Wraiths. I like to cut Gurmag Anglers, and I like to cut Faithless Lootings because my deck is very honed after Sideboard here, and it is um, the cost of going down a card is a lot more. And I like to keep in some discard, but I think I'm going to cut a discard for just another Stubborn Denial to hit Cord and Company. Because without Faithless Looting, my discard is not as good. So. I found that I, I, I do like cutting my discard spent my, uh, my whatever they are. My Faithless Lootings when I sideboard them. Because, like, I always find that my deck is, um so streamlined after sideboard that it actually hurts to go down a card. This hand's very good. We're going to keep this. So we're just going to dismember this thing. My, my wife's mouse is so much nicer than mine. Get Blood Crypt. No, I don't want to do that one. I find you gotta you gotta cut him with Gurmag Angler though, especially considering you know I don't I'm not as heavy on the thought scours, especially if you're bringing in what's the name the dumb card Lava Dad. Smells kind. Of I think we got a plan for that. So I think I'm just gonna go. Um, Easier. I kind of just want to deal with this spell skite because I don't want to like have to kill something next turn and not be able to. And this makes like Court of Calling worse, which probably isn't relevant. I also like doing a lot of things that I'm going to do anyways. I like doing it on my on my main phase. Because I get, like, worried. Scavenging is okay. So they have Vizier and two other cards. I'm definitely killing this Snapcaster Mage before my opponent untaps. The question is, am I going to Serum Visions and do it or hold up Stubborn Denial? And I think I'm just going to Serum Visions. I would like to set my draws up.
Yeah. Okay. So I want both of these. I don't want I don't really want either of these. But I will keep the serum visions on top with the option to shuffle it away. Cuz I'd like to be able to stub a collected company. Yeah, I basically don't like it against the matchups where I bring in Grim Lava Mancer, if that makes sense. Which it, it sort of doesn't because you want your graveyard stocked. But in that kind of a matchup where you need to like manage the board and Gurmag Angler often doesn't do enough, coupled with Battle Rage to like to get you where you want to be. Yeah, I'm pretty aggressive with cutting street rates, yeah. And I think maybe that's because I have like too many just really like you have more you have more uh, home run hitters in your sideboard, I think, that are less flexible than the ones that I have. So like, I think I have more cards that are decent in a lot more matchups than you do, but your cards are better overall. So I think here I just go bang, bang, upstairs. I just take the two for because my opponent's obviously got three spells in their hand. My opponent could company me, but hopefully with Snapcaster Mage I can deal with that. Alternatively, I could just wait, stub something, then go snap bolt and have something on the battlefield. I think I like doing that. I can rebuy the Snapcaster Mage. We're just going to get rid of this. That No attack there seems odd. Dryad Arbor. So then stub this. And then we're going to go, we're going to hit this Dryad Arbor. We're just going to go upstairs with the Colgon's Command. Yeah. And now we just have to find, like, a Lava Mancer, a um, Liliana. Yeah, so now we're just going to snap Serum Visions. Just to kind of get the ball rolling. I'm going to assume that my opponent doesn't have anything here because they would have just... They've already gotten something important stubbed once. They would have cast it before Stubborn Denial was live. So let's just put this on the bottom. Um. <coughs> I'll put this on top. I think it's better than a random draw, even though it takes some of my mana up. Especially considering, like, my opponent's... Um, it's, it's another Stubborn Denial also. So I think I'm just going to attack. So I would like to cast multiple spells this turn. I can't imagine what my opponent has in their hand. I don't think they have Collected Company because they would have just cast it many times. I can't imagine what they have. But I really just don't want to do anything. Cord makes sense. It's like Cord and a land, it must be. So I think we're just going to like... Sit and chill. And then, like, flash the Snapcaster Mage in and Thought Scour at the end of their turn. Just get, start, like, getting a little more of a clock going on. I could just bolt my opponent, put them to nine, crack them to five, then any one of them, and Colagon's Command's lethal. Yeah.
Can't be core plus land, or they would have played the land. Yeah. Because you want all the lands that you can play. Because it's not like you would hold a land while you have a cord in your hand. That doesn't make sense. You're right there, Ben. It could be Path. They're waiting to, like, not Path a Snapcaster Mage. I should have thought scoured, likely. If I'm not going to Colagon's command, then I should definitely have thought scoured. That was, that was stupid. I just, like, clicked through my turn. Okay, we pegged that. This is nice. It frees up some of my mana. Now I'm going to, like, start doing some stuff just because. Okay, Path and Eldritch Evolution. So we'll take this Path. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Thought sees this Eldritch Evolution. And I don't think my opponent's got any outs now. Kitchen Finks. Kitchen Finks does it for him. Another path. We're not going to fat search because we're going to draw and play our Death Shadow. And then we're going to K command their draw step. And then call it a day. My opponent's just like scooping it up here. We're lagging out for a second. Okay, nice. Win 3 2. It's not great. I lost to Hardened Scales and um, whatever it is. Hardened Scales and Blue White Control. So that's kind of what it is. The Hardened Scales is annoying. I'm going to start another league after I go grab some water.